The following program is sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network. Welcome to today's Home Remodeler. I'm Stuart Keith, and on today's show, well, we're following along some building projects with Plumbers 75. We'll begin by meeting with Jim Schubert from Alpine Plumbing as we visit a new high-rise apartment building and learn how the piping is planned, coordinated, and installed for this major construction project. Next, we'll head to a new chemistry lab at the Milwaukee School of Engineering and check out the specialized plumbing tools being used with project manager Jeff Kola. And we'll finish up today's show at a downtown revitalization project called One at North End that showcases some of Alpine Plumbing's fine work when the job is completed. So we have a lot to cover today, so we'll get started after these messages. There are few things more impressive than a new high-rise building that comes out of the ground and starts to grow from week to week. All the construction trades are working together and the amount of coordination for a trade such as plumbing is almost amazing. So let's begin today's show with Foreman Jim Schubert from Alpine Plumbing to learn how all the piping for this project is being planned, coordinated, and installed. This is the newest thing, it's, it's 3D CAD modeling, so we can um, see our pipe as it would look on the project. So this entire construction project is all three-dimensional on this computer, is it really taking the place of the old building plans? Absolutely, where before we would have three or four sets of plan that would take up this entire gang box, everything's on the computer now. And with all the inclement weather that you work with, because the project must go on, Absolutely. It makes it a little easier? Rain, coffee, everything. The plans after th three floors are unreadable. Okay, so what project is this that we're this visiting? It's called the Modern. It's a uh, apartment building slash condos. There's um, 217 units, 14 of which are condos. Wow, pretty big project. I take it it's yeah. a little more challenging coming to work each day working on this project compared to a residential home. It is. I mean, the biggest difference is on a, on a residential project, you can go into a house and you're pretty much the only guy there. We're here, we have contractors every day. We're working with 10, 15, 20 possibly different contractors start to finish every day. But everybody in the building trades is in that boat on a project like this and you find it's like a choreographed routine, everybody's working together. It is. It's a, it's a schedule from Monday to Friday in terms of hours and minutes instead of weeks and months like a normal bigger big job is. I mean they want to pour a floor a week. We have to be on schedule every day or we don't make it. Yeah, it must be exciting coming to work every day, seeing the fruits of your labor. Now, what is your role here on this project? I'm the plumbing foreman. I oversee all aspects of the plumbing. Really? So the responsibility falls on you to make sure your guys are getting it done correctly? Absolutely. Everything falls back on me. From my guys, what they're doing, what they're putting in, um, how they're putting it in, everything, plumbing-wise. How many apprentices, how many journeymen here? Uh, we have three journeymen, three apprentices. Good. Well, I'm anxious to see what they're up to. Can we follow along and see some of the specific locations? Yeah, we have some guys working right over here. Hey Stu, this is uh, Jason. He's one of our journeyman plumbers. He's working on our um, waste and vent system. He's running two kitchen sink lines for uh, two different units upstairs. Okay, and since this is a poured concrete structure, every single floor is solid concrete. That must be challenging for the plumbers. It is. What we have to do is make sure before they pour the concrete that every one of our sleeves is in the correct spot. And we do that with our computer drawings and we make sure everything lines up floor to floor so we don't have to put offsets in. and and everything looks real good. And again, the onus falls on you as the foreman to make sure it's getting done correctly, but at the end of the day, you're depending on the journeymen, the apprentices to get it done right, because even as I'm looking at this, sure, it's a waistline coming down, but that section is for the room above, 
and right. everything is re tier to tier to tier, it has to be done right initially. Right. I rely on them to install everything the way the computer says, and I have to relay that message to them. Okay, between each floor, everything has to be connected together. You said you had six guys here, a couple guys above right now helping to assist bring this through? Yeah, we have probably have one guy above, he'll help push the pipe down. Jason will be working here, he'll tell his apprentice to make sure we get all the hangers we need. We usually try to have a top and a bottom guy. One guy stays on a ladder, the other guy does all the running around, getting him all the material he needs. So it's not just here today, gone tomorrow. It's you're it's getting everything set and every step of the process. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be one of the last trades to leave because you're hooking up all the, whether it's a sink or a lab or Correct. whatever it is. Have you found in your profession that some of the uh, uh, schooling really comes into play? Like math, for instance, as I'm looking at this, it must be very important. Yeah, we use math every day. Every day there's fractions. Everything you think in school that you don't need, we use every day. How long have you been a plumber? Um, almost 20 years. 20 years and you've worked your way up to foreman. Is that something when you started you wanted to do? Is oh, absolutely, a absolutely. From day one, I always wanted to be in charge. Sounds like you're pretty happy with your career choice. I am, yeah, it's really nice. Well, let's move along and see some of the other plumbing work being done on this structure. Okay. Wow, down here on this level, you get a good look at all that coordination you were talking about between all the different trades. Absolutely, we have sprinkler fitters, heating contractors, our plumbing, everything is on this floor for all the floors above. So I suppose this is what you're talking about when you're saying there's a big benefit to having that tablet, that computer with all the plans on it. Absolutely, it's, it's, the coordination is the biggest thing on a project this size, and with that, we can talk to other foremen, and we have everything we need right there so we can coordinate and not crisscross and cause problems. Yeah, because as I look back and think about it, if it's all on a tablet and all the different trades, all their foremans have tablets, you guys don't have to go from floor to floor or go up to the top to address a certain situation. You can all look at it three-dimensionally and it must make it go a lot more smoothly. It does, and I also have everybody else's plans on my tablet so I can see and I don't have to waste the time to go talk to them if I don't need to. It, it saves time, it saves money, and on our projects that's the biggest thing, saving time and money. Okay, some of your guys are working in the background. What's going on there? Yes, yeah, Stu, this is Ken and Brian. These are two of our apprentices. They're actually working on a condensate drain for the heating contractor for all of his units, condensing units, to drain into our system. So again, good example of that overlap between the different trades having to work together. It's not just heating doing heating and plumbers doing the plumbing. Absolutely, I mean, we all have process. to work together. So do you find that with apprentices and journeymen, there's a lot of mentoring that goes on and that's really beneficial? There has to be, otherwise they're, we're really doing the apprentices a disservice. If we don't show them everything we know, it, it puts them behind in their career right off the start. When you see an apprentice in action, does it kind of take you back to when you were first on the job, an early apprentice, and, and how far you've come? Yeah, it does. It does. And, and I want all of my guys to become foremen. That's my goal as a foreman. Let me train them to be where I am because I'm not going to be here forever either. And that's one of the things I love about the trades. The opportunity seems to be there if you want it. Some guys aren't cut out to be it. They don't want to be. They just want to be a an everyday plumber, but other ones want to move up in the company. Right, and those are the guys we love the most. I love getting behind the scenes. We're seeing what the plumbers are doing here. I love to hear the enthusiasm. Is there a sense of pride from the plumber's side that you drive through town with your family and point out buildings that you've worked on? I do. I do that every time we're driving around. I'll point out to my kids, hey, your dad worked on that building, your dad worked on that building, and now I have a 30-story high-rise that I'm building. And I can say to them 20, 30 years from now, hey, you know, your dad did that building, your, your grandpa did that building. I really appreciate you taking the time to walk us through and show us the behind the scenes on this project. Oh, you're welcome. Stay tuned. We'll be heading to a new chemistry lab to check out a specialized plumbing system next, here on today's Home Remodeler.